Hi guys, the following clip is about wider and narrower parabolas and also how to find the coordinates to be able to draw these parabolas. Enjoy! When looking at parabolas, we have the basic parabola equation, which is y equals x squared. This parabola starts with the vertex on the zero, zero point, where the x and the y axes connect with each other. Um, and then we get wider and narrower parabolas. Today we're going to look at how to write these and how to draw these. So first of all, to have a wider or narrower parabola, we need to have an A value. The A value is also known as the multiplying factor. This multiplying factor is added in front of my x squared. When we have a multiplying factor, like we said earlier, there's two ways of doing parabolas. It's either going to be wider or narrower. Right, so with the basic equation, my A value is 1. So when it is wider or narrower, my A value either goes higher than 1 or lower than 1. Let's first of all look at when it goes higher than 1. When my A value is bigger than 1, my graph will be narrower, meaning my side lines will be closer to the Y axis. When my multiplying factor is smaller than 1, meaning a decimal or a fraction, then my graph will be wider, so flatter and closer towards the x-axis. Now there's two ways of identifying how to draw the wider or the, or the narrower parabola. The first one is to use the one out, one up rule that we've been using in the previous videos. So by using the one out and one up rule, the basic equation will always be one out, one up, one out, three up, and one out, five up. If we use an a value of 2, my equation will read y equals 2x squared. The way we use this one out, one up rule to draw this new parabola is we need to double our vertical distance because my a value is 2. So doubling meaning multiplied by the new a value. Right, in this case, we, have, we will have 1 out, 2 up, 1 out, 6 up, and 1 out, 10 up. Now we can just plot these coordinates and connect the dots. The second way of doing it is drawing a table. With drawing a table, we are finding our different coordinates. Our starting point for my table is right in the middle where my vertex is. As we can see, this graph has not been moved horizontally or vertically, so my vertex will still be zero. Then I choose three x values next to my vertex on both sides. The next thing I need to do is I need to substitute my new x value of negative 3 into my new equation into x's place. So for instance, my first line will read 2 multiplied by negative 3 squared. That will then give me my y value. Now that I've completed my table, each of these, my x value, and my y value forms a coordinate. So each row is a new coordinate. As we can see, our, our y values is exactly the same going from the zero upwards and from the zero downwards. The reason for this is when we look at the features of parabolas, we know that parabolas are mirror images of each other. Therefore, I need to plot these dots on an axis set, connect the dots, and then I have a narrower parabola. I hope this clip helped. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone it could possibly benefit. Please find the link to features of parabolas up here as well as how to move parabolas horizontally and vertically. Till next time, bye!